Iran has presented domestically manufactured ballistic and cruise missiles amid U.S. efforts to extend an arms embargo on Iran. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani and Defense Minister, Brigadier General Amir Hatami participated in the unveiling ceremony of the ballistic missile, known as Haikasim. which is named after Iran's late top general Qasem Soleimani and a cruise missile named Abu Mahdi through video conference. The presentation of both projectiles took place on the occasion of the country's National Defense Industry Day. The cruise missile bears the name of Abu Mahdi al mohandis an Iraqi military commander that was assassinated along with General Qasem Soleimani and a number of their comrades in a U.S. drone raid near the Baghdad International Airport on January. High Qasem ballistic missile has a range of 1,400 km and Abu Mahdi cruise missile has a range of 1,000 km. Iran has manufactured ballistic armament by improving the previous Zulfiqar missile with solid fuel. Zulfiqar S-800 km range was increased to 1,400 km for High Qasim, thanks to the upgrade. In the ceremony, the mass production line of its first indigenous turbojet engine, Double O, has also launched. This turbojet engine was unveiled in 2016. Also, a lightweight fourth-generation turbofan engine that is used in advanced drones was put on display. The engine will remarkably boost the Iranian aviation power and upgrade the engine of drones at least for one generation. Iranian defense industry, which is considered to be the fundamentals of military self-reliance and is one of the main requirements of the country's authority, is now a mature one with 770 various product groups that can supply the demand of the Iranian armed forces in wars, Minister Hatemi said. Pointing to the inauguration of the production line of the domestically manufactured Khauser fighter jet, Hatemi said the country will soon deliver another three of the jets to the country's air force. In late June, Iranian Navy commander, Rear Admiral Hossein Khanzadi announced that the country would soon start manufacturing a new class of supersonic cruise missiles, known as TALAEE, to add to its current arsenal of subsonic weapons. Iran's unveiling of the missiles defies U.S. demands for the country to halt its missile program, amid tensions are running high between the two countries. U.S. President Donald Trump ordered the commencement of the snapback provision of the 2015 nuclear agreement with Iran, officially known as the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. We'll be doing a snapback. Trump said on August 15, the day after the UN Security Council rejected a U.S. lead resolution to extend an arms embargo on Iran. You'll be watching it next week, he added. Iran State TV reported Thursday the country has unveiled two new missiles amid heightened tensions between Iran and the United States. State TV said officials unveiled the two new missiles on Thursday National Defense Industry Day in Iran. They are named after top Iranian General Qasem Soleimani and Iraqi militia leader Abu Mahdi al mohandis who were killed outside Baghdad's international airport in a U.S. strike in January. The Martyr High Qasim surface-to-surface ballistic missile has a 1,400-kilometer range, according to the semi-official affairs news agency.
State TV said the Martyr Abu Mahdi naval cruise missile has a 1,000 km range. State TV said the Martyr High Qasim missile was not intercepted by a defense system during a test. Also on Thursday, Iran unveiled a fourth-generation light turbofan engine for its advanced drones. Iran also inaugurated the production line of its domestically produced oil engine for the Iranian-made twin-seat Khauser fighter jet. Iran routinely unveils technological achievements for its armed forces, its space program and its nuclear efforts. President Donald Trump pulled the U.S. out of the nuclear agreement between Iran and six major powers, known in 2018, and tensions between the two countries have escalated since.